how to solve these functional equations we have f of tan x plus sec x equals sin x now let's see how we can find f of x from this let's consider the solution from here the domain of this function we are given as tan x plus sec s actually this is a trigonometry function but let's see what will be the function for f of x so we cannot decide that for now until we solve this problem and see the outcome of this f of x so the first step we are going to take is suppose i let tan x plus sec x equals t for instance so by letting this one to t just the whole of the domain of the original functions so the next thing here is since we have left that one to be t the function becomes f of t equals sine x but looking at what we have here and what we have here they are two different things let's start this first then when we recall from the identity of let's say we have sec square x minus tan x this equals one so from this identity if we call the difference of two squared sec square x minus tan square x is the same thing as when we have sec x plus tan x multiplied by sec x minus tan x this equals 1 but sec x plus tan x equals t by replacing this one with t we are going to have t into bracket of sec x minus tan x equals 1 by dividing both sides by t we have t cancel t here becomes sec x minus tan x equals 1 divided by t for the first one that we got we let this one let me call this one equation one and while the new one here let me call this one equation two so by bringing the two equations together as for the first one which is sec x plus tan x equals c this is our equation one let's add equation one and equation two together by adding this we have minus tan x plus tan x cancelled so sec x plus sec x this gives us two sec x equals then one over t plus t I will divide this one by one so when we find the LCM here and uh, we have 2 sec x equals 1 plus t squared divided by t by dividing both sides by t we are going to have sec x equals 1 plus t squared divided by 2t so we have gotten sec x let's find tan x then considering one of the two equations that we got above let me recall from equation one which says sec x plus tan x equals t and sec x is 1 plus t squared over 2t 
replacing it and make tan x the subject of the formula. We have tan x equals t minus sec x, but sec x is 1 plus t squared divided by 2t. If this is divided by 1, we have t multiplied by 2t, that is 2t squared minus 1 minus t squared divided by 2t. Then 2t squared minus t squared, this equals t squared minus 1 divided by 2t. And this is the result of uh, the value of tan x. So we have gotten tan x and we have gotten sec x. So the next one here is to find what is uh, sin x. To get sin x, we recall that, let's recall that if we have sin x, this is equals cos x multiplied by tan x because what is tan x tan x is given as sine over cos and when cos cancel cos we are going to have only sine x so this is true and also we are only giving sec x we are not giving cos x so to get cos x, we also recall that for every sec x is equals 1 over cos x. So by replacing it, we have sin x equals 1 divided by cos x here. So it's just like our sec x. So which means we will not make cos the subject of the formula here. We are going to have 1 over sec x. So we have 1 divided by sec x multiplied by tan x. So by replacing sec x with the value of it, we have 1 over 1 plus t squared divided by 2t multiplied by y tan is given as t squared minus 1 divided by 2t. Then by law of reciprocal, so this 2t will come up and it will later cancel this one. When it cancels, we have the result of this as t squared minus 1 divided by 1 plus t squared, which is the value of sine x. So since we have gotten this, the next is to find our f of x. Let's recall that at the first place, we have f of t equals sine x. That was what we have. And sine x has been derived to be equals t squared minus 1 divided by 1 plus t squared and since we need to get f of x just try to replace t with x and therefore we have f of x equals x squared minus 1 divided by 1 plus x squared this is the result of the functions so here is a rational function and the given problem is a trigonometric function, which are two different things. This is how we solve this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.